Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. Our memory verse for this month is Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. Let's say it together. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. I picked this verse as a verse about love, even though it's ostensibly about wealth. Because in order, I think, to understand this verse best, the wealth is not the part you focus on. God is not particularly concerned with money or other worldly possessions. He's concerned with love and loyalty. This is a kind of Hebrew structure where the same thing is said twice in the inverse. Hate one, love other, loyal to one, despise the other. It flips it and it says different words in the place of love, loyal, hate, despise, but it means the same thing. And I like how loyalty is standing here in the place of love. What does this tell us? Well, the Hebrew word also means to hold fast to, and you'll see some translations say that, cling on to. A God who values loyalty as a demonstration of love as like a spouse. You can say, well, I only cheated on you 5% of the time. That's not loyalty. It's an all or nothing business. It's an all or nothing relationship. Since the mammon part is replaceable and the loyalty is not, Jesus is here talking about a particular way people stray from God, in this case, worldly possessions, but that the antidote to this is loyalty. You can have money, you can spend money, you can earn money, you can give money away. The issue here is the state of the heart. Are you loyal to God? Is he the one you hold fast to? A drowning man clings to the thing he thinks will save. To what are we clinging? It's in times of great pressure or distress often that this is revealed to us. To what are we clinging? Ask yourself this in the weeks to come. And wherever you find it to be something other than Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, repent and turn to the loyalty you once held and cling to your God instead. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I praise your name. You are a God that we can turn to and cling to. I pray that everyone in this building hearing this message would cling to you and would hold you tight through the easy times and the hard times. And that we would demonstrate our loyalty by choosing you over all the different so-called saviors out there that promise escape, that promise help. Only through relationship with you can we see through these lies and to see what it is you've actually presented to us. Because you can send us money, you can send us health, you can send us food and shelter. In fact, in this very verse, you go on to say, do not be anxious about these things, for I provide them, not because they're not important, but because I know that they are and I know that you need them. He takes care of us. You take care of us, O oh Lord. I pray that everyone here remembers that always. I pray you bless this message and you bless this people. In your name, Jesus, amen. God bless everyone. See you next week.